We have another beautiful episode that we'll be talking about once again, and I want to say that I love this one. There's only one thing that bothers me about this episode, but I'll say it through the end of this video. Now, I want to focus on the episode. So without further ado, let's begin. You remember the sweet man who helped Barry in episode 2, right? Yes, I'm talking about Maximus who was growing eggplants for star people. In that episode, he mentioned Mabel, a.k.a. Alora's grandma, and I just felt that we were going to see him once again, and apparently, I was right. This episode shows his past, as well as other older characters we know from the town. Also, we get to know how it all started, meaning the first time he met star people. Apparently, Maximus was Fixico's cousin, and they had an argument in the past. So we see that even though it's the end of a school year, he doesn't want to stay with him, but instead he wants to stay at the boarding school. We learn that he doesn't have a family besides Fixico and his grandma, and that was actually the topic of their argument. While everyone thinks that the beef between them was about Mabel because she dated Fixico earlier and is now dating Maximus, we learn that it's not true at all. Anyways, like I said, it's the end of a school year and Maximus's friends want to get some acid and get high. He lies about using drugs because we learn that he has never tried acid and it hits him at some point. While they get ready to get back home, Fixico shows his concern for Maximus, and I feel like he tries to fix the problem between them. But Maximus has no similar intention, and he just gets in the car and starts driving along with his friends. On the way back, everyone falls asleep except for Maximus. And while driving, he sees something strange, so he stops. He sees a UFO and a star person who claims to be his relative. I can say that he's quite surprised, but also mesmerized. When his friends realize the car has stopped, they wake up and check Maximus if everything is okay or not. He tells them what happened, but as we all expected, nobody believes him, even Nabel. I can't blame them. They were really high and it's something difficult to believe. I don't even know whether I should believe him or not at this point. So I guess this is when it all started. As you remember, he was obsessed with star people, and he was patiently waiting for them to arrive one day. What I want to know is if acid triggered some kind of mental issue that was waiting to appear, or is it something like bare experiences with the spirit? This show has the potential to give place to supernatural things and myths, so I wouldn't be surprised if star people were real. No matter what, I can say that he is quite interesting and I honestly want to know more about him. Now, the thing that bothers me is the fact that season three is the final. So even though I enjoy other characters and their backgrounds, I want to see our reservation dogs more and more. As you know, we saw them in the latest episode, but it was a very quiet one. So I don't know about you, but I can't say that it fully satisfied my expectations. I genuinely believe that this show is capable of telling more stories, and I just want another season full of different characters and our original cast members. Because with this season, I understand that there's a lot more to tell, and I want to know every single thing they may offer us. I want to see Maximus again, and I would love to see him and Fixico fixing their problems, because in the latest episode we saw that Fixico was waiting for the day he'll die, and he believes it's getting closer. I really don't want their story to end like this. Besides, let's not forget the dear lady. I really want her to pay a visit to Bear so that everyone realizes that he was actually telling the truth. Last but not least, I want to know more about Alora's dad, and I believe the upcoming episode might focus on that. Who knows? We might even see the kids jumping into another adventure. Fingers crossed for a beautiful, adventurous episode full of our lovely reservation dogs. That's all for me now. Next week, I'll be here with another episode of Reservation Dogs, so make sure to subscribe. What do you think about this episode? Do you think we'll see Maximus once again? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the like button and sharing it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.